information comes from Albert Stolbein General of Division, who was also Commander-in-Chief of the Intelligence and Security Command of the United States Army, and one of the most distinguished soldiers of the United States and head of intelligence of the United States Army. The statements were made by two possible personalities including John Podesta, who was Chief of Staff of Bill Clinton and advisor to Barack Obama or by Dr. Brian O'Leary, a former NASA astronaut and professor of physics at Princeton University, who said, there is abundant evidence that we are being contacted, that civilizations have been contacting us for a very long time. According to Albert Stubbein, there are constructions on the surface of Mars, as there are underground areas. There are also machines on the surface of Mars. At one point in his statement he says the following, there are structures on the surface of Mars. I will tell you that there are structures below the surface of Mars that cannot be seen by the Voyager cameras that happened in 1976. I will also tell you that there are machines on the surface of Mars. Mars and there are machines under the Mars surface that you can look at, you can discover in detail, you can see what they are where they are, who they are and a lot of details about them. So, when it says who they are, I do not know if it refers to extraterrestrial beings or machines. To make it clear, in a statement the general does not mention anything from where he gets his sources, but the author makes an assumption that some of that information could come from the remote viewing program. Since apparently the general played a key role in the Stargate project, which was a remote viewing program. General Albert Stubbein was a champion of the psychic war and a key player in the Stargate project. Remote viewing can be defined in multiple ways. It is the ability of people to describe a remote geographic location several hundred thousand kilometers away from their physical location. The results of this project were declassified and published in the Journal of Scientific Exploration. In this project, individuals successfully describe physical objects that were not close to their physical location. A strange coincidence about his birth and death of Albert Stubbein, he was born on February 6, 1930 and died on February 6, 2017.